We begin first at 6. Atlanta has worked hard to earn a reputation as a hotspot for tech jobs, drawing in big names like Google and NCR and now Microsoft. Today, Microsoft announcing plans to build a new business campus on Atlanta's west side, creating jobs. But some people in the neighborhood worry about what cost those jobs may come at. Doug Richards explains. The 90-acre Microsoft project will be a new landmark in an old Atlanta community commonly known as Bankhead. The site is now known as Quarry Yards, named for another development that never materialized as expected. We want to really invest in the community. But in That's a virtual today, announcement, the president of Microsoft that assured that Atlanta's mayor and Georgia's governor that this here. project would take so root soon. It. Before we decide what to build and how to build it, we really want to listen to and talk with and learn from people here in the Atlanta community. The community surrounding the new Microsoft development has had challenges for years. There is the blight that signals how such development typically bypasses Bankhead. There also are seasoned neighborhoods with modest housing, though it's quickly becoming less affordable. Yeah, neighborhoods have to grow, but does everybody that's been in the neighborhood for years and years and years have to leave to make way for this growth? Elizabeth Thompson says she's lived for 18 years, a couple miles away from the new Microsoft Project site. Yeah, it can be good for everybody, but everybody has to be a part of it in the beginning and not in the end. Affordable housing is hard. It's hard all over the, the, the country. Microsoft the Vice President Michael Microsoft Ford told us the Bankhead community may benefit from the company's ongoing experience with affordable housing issues in Seattle. Microsoft's president says the site will include affordable housing plus community amenities like a grocery store and perhaps a pharmacy. He says that the plans won't be drawn up without community input first.